Breaking news update coming in comes at a very interesting time wherein Donald Trump, uh, the uh, presidential nominee who's won the U.S. elections, has spoken of how the war in Ukraine will come to an end very, very soon. That said, this is another key detail coming to light from the Russian capital of Moscow with Ukraine attacking Moscow with at least 34 drones, the biggest drone strike, like I said, on the Russian capital since the start of this war in 2022. It's been two and a half years since the war first began. This has also interestingly forced flights to be diverted from three of the city's major airports and has injured at least one person. So these are initial details that have come in so far. Sidhan Mishra joins us with more details. Sidhan, what more do we know about this latest attack that Moscow has had to face? Well, that's right. Uh, in fact, uh, we are also uh, getting this uh, piece of input uh, as international uh, uh, media outlets uh, have started reporting that Ukraine has attacked uh, Russia. In fact, the capital of Russia, Russia Moscow, has been targeted by Ukraine with at least 34 drones, the biggest drone strike on Russia ever since this uh, war broke out. And perhaps this is also happening at a time when Donald Trump has been elected uh, as the President of the United States. Uh, this could be seen as, as, a, as a window which, uh, which Ukrainian President Zelensky wants to utilize uh, to, uh, to the best of uh, his country. Uh, perhaps because he knows that right now uh, President Biden is the president and the uh, policy is the same which was going on. So uh, until President Trump uh, takes over the presidency from President Biden, uh, it looks like that, uh, that Zelensky has a window uh, to perhaps uh, you know, uh, 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 attack Moscow. And the reason that utilizing that one window, there has been a 34 drone, uh, drone uh, strike uh, on Moscow by Ukraine. And in fact, the reports are also telling us that uh, flights have also been diverted uh, from three of the city's major airports. And in fact, uh, one person has been reported injured. Hmm. This comes after Russia launched a record 145 drones overnight. And, uh, you know, Ukraine's confirmed the save. In fact, Kiev says that uh, its air defense is downed 62 of those. So after that update, we're picking up the latest, uh, uh, you know, offensive on part of Ukraine while it attacks Moscow, the Russian capital. Tell us a little bit about the larger story here, the larger uh, picture that we should keep in mind, uh, Siddhant, while looking at these fast-paced developments, because the war has been ongoing the last two and a half years. It seems, it's seen its ups and downs, but ever since uh, you know Donald Trump won the U.S. presidential elections, he's made some very firm statements with regards to the war in Ukraine, and we perhaps need to put that uh, in perspective as well. Well, look, now, you know, as far as Russia and Ukraine, is, uh, these two countries are concerned, then uh, Ukraine also understands it very well that there is going to be the 360-degree change in the U.S. policies after Donald Trump will take over as the president because that's his commitment to the American people that he's going to end the war going on. Uh, so he's going to move in that direction. And in this way, we have heard uh, praises for Donald Trump from Russian President Putin the other day, uh, called him a brave and, and a courageous man. Uh, Donald Trump, uh, in fact, uh, made his position very, very clear when it comes to Ukrainian, um, you know, Ukrainian, Ukraine war, and he, his position is that the U.S. should stop uh, giving aid to Ukraine to fight with uh, Russia. Perhaps that's his principal position. So even if the Trump administration starts working on this position, Perhaps there is a window which is available with Ukraine uh, to, to, to utilize that in the best possible manner. Because whenever there is going to be the truth uh, between the two sides, uh, maybe next year or maybe after that, then the, uh, you know, uh, the, the one who, who, who uh, the country which will hold on to the, to the, uh, to the territory will remain with that particular uh, country. And perhaps it looks like that's going to be the fight between Russia and Ukraine. Because in this battle, Ukraine has already lost a large chunk of its uh, territory. So, you know, Ukraine would perhaps use it uh, in the best possible interest of Ukraine to at least regain or to, to, be, uh, uh, to be deployed on those areas which are in Ukrainian control. So that if Trump administration takes uh, uh, initiative uh, perhaps for the, for the peace, for the truth between the two sides, so Ukraine should not be losing on the more territory to Russia. Oh yes, as uh, Kiev's top commanders have been warning that Russia's offensive has only shown signs of escalation. This perhaps is a response 
to the same. The 34 drone strike in Moscow is a response, is a retaliation to the attack that uh, was launched by Moscow overnight. Many thanks, Adan, for putting that in perspective. With that, we head into a very short break. We'll be right back.